everyone, I'm Sarah. And I'm Becky. Welcome to Bickering Book Reviews. Today we're talking about Maybe This Time by Casey West. And I got this as an ARC from Scholastic because they're fabulous. Um, I read your ARC from Scholastic because it's not on anywhere else. And they're awesome. I like working at the library, just by the way. <laughs> anyway, so this book is about Sophie, who works with the local florist designing centerpieces and, well, the whole event. Um, it's a small town. You know, you need to be a drag of all trades. Her best friend, Micah, works with her family's catering company, um, which means they get to see each other all the time at special work occasions. Micah's family has been tapped for a mentoring program with the famous chef, Jet Hart. Too bad both Jet and his teen son are both pompous jerks. Sophie doesn't like how she <clears throat> is going... <clears throat> Sophie doesn't know how she's going to last this year with the two of them, um, especially if she has to see Andrew at all of these events. Highlighting nine events throughout the year, Sophie begins to get to know Andrew and find that she may not hate him as much as she thought. He makes her reflect on herself, decide if fashion designing is really what she wants to do in New York, or to come to a, and to come to a better place with her father's aban abandonment and family responsibilities. Andrew may not get small town life or friendships, but his new perspective helps Sophie see what is truly important to her. So, this book would have been awesome as a movie. It did not work for me as a book. You know, yeah, it didn't work because you're only seeing snapshots of these characters, yeah, so you don't grow to love them. It's like <clears throat> 20 pages an event, maybe maybe 25, and you don't learn meet the, get to know the characters. You don't really get to see their interacting. So, like, as they grow together so quickly, and the thing is that that's only supposed to be the times that they're interacting. They're not, like, in school together or anything like that. So it's kind of like, how did this relationship form? Exactly, because, I mean, Sophie really doesn't like him at the beginning of the novel. Right. Like, really doesn't like him. So it's, And it's, I never really it's liked either of them. I, yeah, I didn't like either of them. No. And so by only seeing these snapshots, and them only seeing these snapshots, their character arc isn't believable. Right. I think what would have worked really, would have, would have worked better, while it would have been a great movie, it would have worked better as a book if the events were the vignettes, or like little bits at the beginning of the chapters and then you had a third perspective telling kind of like that one book it it's, was like a, it was like a love story but told from all these that other Sandy Hall book there were even like the squirrels talking what was that yeah called? I love that book that concept in this book would have made it like mind-blowingly awesome well and honestly the best part of the book to me were the little things at the beginning of the chapters which were sophie's like snarky comments about yeah, flowers yeah those are cute but that's the only time you got sophie's voice yeah so i think so i think by adding in a third perspective i think it would have helped grow this book because i don't even really have anything else to say other than the fact like it was okay. It was cute. I'll give it to a tween. Oh, definitely. I mean, but it's, it's Casey be... West. She's really good at. She can write really well. So even when she doesn't do it as well as she does in her other books, it's still pretty great. But I feel like it's got to be the right reader because a lot of like struggling readers who I usually give her books to because they're quick will get frustrated by this format. Yeah, I wouldn't give it to a struggling reader either. No, and I mean like it's got to be like a Casey West fan who is okay with the fact that it's jumping around. Because I think if this is your first Casey West book, you're not going to go back. I don't know. I, I think you, you might. Know. I think you might. And I think that it's it would work for a romance reader, like a teen romance know. reader. I think would enjoy this. I don't know. Like I said, I had I it it was a struggle, and I mean yeah, it didn't take me very long, but it's not a very long book. I mean, yeah, I definitely think there's room for improvement, but I don't think that it's... It never hooked me. It's so jarring that nobody would go back to her, that they, like, they would throw it down in disgust. I just... I feel like her... Ab like, you have to be a fan to be, like, okay with this. Or you have to be looking for something entirely different. Because if you compare this to her other, like, her earlier books, her last book I loved. What was it called? The one that was on the movie set. That was, like, my favorite book by her, so I was kind of excited for this one, and then I was like, eh. No, I... I don't know. We should just read it. Okay. It's not me. Our rating skill goes from five unicorns down to two unicorns. If we don't like it, it's a horse and doesn't get a horn. Where are you? I'm at a three, and that's mostly just because it's a Casey West book. Okay, so I read it four on Goodreads, and I don't know why. <laughs> because the more that we talk about it, like, it really is a three. I mean, it's... On any other book, a, 
like this would be a solid romance. As a Casey West so book, me it's, it's not, not. To me, it's not a solid romance. As somebody who reads a lot of romance books, I'm like, mm, no. There's no relationship development in this book. All right. I, I don't know where I'm at. Oh, my brain's all like... I'm, I'm just going to give it a three. I'm changing my rating from Goodreads. It's going to a three, and I'm sorry. Um, but God, I love Casey West. And so that is where we are on Maybe This Time. Bye. Bye.